Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the 350th day of a quality blessing where God wants us to transform not just us but everybody around us. And He's comparing this transformation with something very, very interesting and very smart. So let's understand what Baba wants to say and how does He want us to transform everything around us. <music> Baba says in the heading, May you be a world transformer who transforms the impure feelings and intentions of all souls. Don't we face those issues, whether it's a workplace, whether it's a home, whether it's a business, whether it's any place. Sometimes some people have bad feelings and bad intention towards others and that creates a negative environment, a negative feeling and the whole atmosphere of that place is turned down or dark. So God wants us to change those things and that will make us whole transformers. So let's understand what is the meaning of this. Just as a rose takes strength from bad smelling fertilizer, whether it's cow dung, whether it's fertilizer, doesn't it smell bad? It does. Well, and becomes a fragrant rose. So the same rose is extracting everything good even from the bad. So Baba wants us to do the same thing over here. You elevated in the same way you elevated world transformer souls have to transform impure, wasteful. Obviously manure in your house is wasteful but in the garden it's useful. It's impure, wasteful and ordinary. Well, people don't give so much of importance to it until unless it's been used in a specific place. But God says, the same thing which may seem impure, wasteful and ordinary. So, he compares it with feelings over here. He says, in the same way, you elevated world transformer souls have to transform impure feelings of other people around you, wasteful feelings of other people around you and ordinary feelings and intentions towards others of people around you into greatness, into that rose. When you transform impure intentions and feelings into pure intentions and feelings, somebody in your house has got impure feelings, impure intentions towards their own brothers and sisters or parents in your workplace towards the boss or the boss having something impure, bad intentions towards the other boss or other colleagues or subordinates or one colleague with another colleague having some intentions, bad feelings and all which is leading to a bad atmosphere, work is getting delayed, things are not improving, there's a bad atmosphere, bad feelings, let's say a business place, the employees are fighting with each other, the boss and the employees are not having a good relationship with each other because of bad intentions and pure feelings, then the customers will feel that the vibration of that place, even if you do a lot of puja part, it's not going to help. Even if a lot of worship, even if you put on an incense over there, you worship, you keep God's idol over there or do any kind of thing. But if your thoughts are impure, if your intentions towards each other are impure, no matter how much of worship you do in that place of work, that home, that business place, your intentions will spread, impure intentions will spread negativity around and that can be felt by the customers. So God says, try to transform that, whether it's your home, whether it's your business place, whether it's your workplace, try to transform that. So God says, when you transform impure intentions and feelings into pure intentions and feelings, you will easily and naturally be the one you will easily and natural by imbibing the qualifications for becoming an avect angel like father brahma so when you do that you will automatically have the qualifications that you are following father brahma or father adam because god taught adam to take care of this whole family Obviously, taking care of the whole family, which is the world family of so many billions of souls, having bad intentions, 
having impure feelings towards those souls is not going to make father brahma or adam higher in the eyes of god so that's why god wants also us to do the same thing and become an avept angel like father brahma so adam or father brahma is an angel now and god father wants us to also become an angel like father brahma when this is done the beads of the rosary will become close to one another beads of a rosary is a symbol of closeness of habits and thinking and feeling even in a house if there are four people four members and each of them has a different opinion different directions of thinking and they always have quarrel whether it's your workplace also if there are 10 20 employees they cannot be in one bead as a rosary they cannot be all those beads in a single rosary so think of your family as also a rosary whether it's just four members think of 10 employees 20 employees also just like those beads in a rosary they can only work together if they have same feelings same intentions to each other towards each other pure feelings pure intentions towards each other and to do that one has to learn spiritual knowledge has to meditate take the power of purity from god and to do that you'll have to visit brahma kumari's godly spiritual university to learn that method and make your house make a business make a workplace successful with this om shanti mm-hmm.